All right, the market is now deep red after starting the morning heavy in the green. And as I've said, my prediction is this market is going to go down. It's going to continue going down into the election. And we had a few earnings yesterday evening and some this morning, and it wasn't pretty. In Airbnb, they reported their earnings yesterday evening. And they reported seeing slowing demand. And their stock is getting crushed down almost 15% today. Now we had CVS come out with their earnings this morning. Nothing good to see there. And they slashed their outlook and cut their full year profit outlook. And that stock is down 2%. Now we also had Disney report their earnings this morning. And it was a mixed bag. Their streaming side actually came in with the first profit ever. But their resorts and parks were a disappointment. Now, just a couple of days ago, Disney, Hulu, ESPN, they're going to be raising subscription prices by one or two dollars a month. And that stock is off three and a half percent. And if you're just walking in the room, the feel that you're getting is the consumer is pretty much tapped out. That's the bottom line. The consumer is running out of money everywhere you turn. And I believe it's only going to get worse as we move into the winter months. The layoffs, they keep coming. The factories, they keep closing. So inevitably, you're going to have less people who are going to have the money to spend, especially to spend on subscriptions, going to theme parks, going on vacations, using Airbnb, things of that nature. So it's going to be a slow grind down with the U.S. consumer. And in my belief, it's going to be a fast fall with the stock market. Now, we have bad news out of the credit card space. Delinquencies, defaults, they keep going up. Delinquencies, 30, 60, 90 days late, that keeps going up. And right now, more than 9% of all credit card accounts are in delinquency. Now, remember, there are more than 500 million credit card accounts in this country. So you do the math, those are big numbers. And the average credit card debt now is more than 6,500 per person. And we're soon going to be going back into the holiday season. So you can pretty much figure out where that's going to go. It's going to be a horrific nightmare. And to boot, my guess is you're going to see a ton of retailers file for bankruptcy, fold up, go out of business, and disappear. And that's going to mean more jobs going bye-bye. So we're going to be stuck in a whirlwind. And I'm telling you, right now, it has the ominous signs of a 2008-2009 crisis, financial crisis. And in fact, it may actually be worse. Now onto the commodity space, we have oil up about $2 a barrel back in the mid-70s. Precious metals, they're pretty much unchanged. The agricultural commodities, they're pretty much unchanged, except for orange juice and coffee. Both of those commodities are up more than 3%. And they've been persistent. As the agricultural commodities have fallen, they haven't. They haven't budged. And that's going to mean higher prices in a grocery store. Now, one more commodity that has been quietly inching up, and that's milk. It's not too far from a 52-week high. So if you love orange juice, coffee, or milk at the breakfast table, it's going to be costing more. You're not going to have pretty much anywhere to turn except maybe water. Now we're going to have the weekly jobless claims tomorrow and one more piece of economic data. And we're going to have earnings from a few household names this evening and tomorrow morning. So this market's red. It's probably going to get redder. And I think by the end of the week, it's going to be apparent that we're in the bear market. This quick stock market commentary, please like and subscribe.